today's video. If you are a returning subscriber, girl, thank you. You're appreciated. I appreciate your support. If you are new here, hey girl, my name is Tavana and I have a perfume obsession. If you do as well and you love walking out in this world smelling good, you have stopped at the right channel because we are all for the love of fragrance over here. So if that is your thing, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. Now into today's video, I have something super exciting and that is a haul. My God! Wow! Right? The hauls are wonderful. I mean, because it's all about adding fragrances to your collection. That's what we're all about over here. Um, but carefully adding, not just adding anything, adding the things we really, 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 really love. So I actually have a collective haul, right? Because you know, there's several bottles. I have eight that I wanna share with you today, but I actually have more. Um, so I'm gonna probably have to do a two-part video because we don't wanna make it too long. Plus I wanna give you a little bit about what each fragrance is about. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing started. The first fragrance, and I'm gonna spray a little bit before so that I can remind myself of what it smells like, but the first fragrance I wanna share with you all today is by Salvatore Ferragamo, and this is Signorina Rebel. Now, this is an awesome, awesome fragrance. This is actually the first my blind buy. Now, I blind bought it because it was fairly inexpensive, and that's actually what makes it so good. This is an amazing fragrance. It's a vanilla sweet coconut um, fragrance that has a very tropical vibe, but Get this, it's lactonic, and that's one of my favorite. I love lactonic fragrances. It also has a little bit of yellow um, florals in there, making it just this very sweet, coconutty, milky fragrance, and it's uh, affordable. So, I mean, you really can't go wrong with this. You just sniff it out really quick. I am, you know, I, I always tell you guys, I am not the blind buyer. I literally, sample everything. I mean, even inexpensive fragrances, I will try. If I can get my hands on a little small sample, I will. But for this part, this was, I think this fragrance ran me maybe 40 bucks. So at that cost, I, you know, it is what it is. I went ahead and blind bought it. And I'm so happy because I'm not really great at blind buying. I'm just a very picky person when it comes to my fragrances. So I know I don't tend to like everything, you know, which, you know, most of us don't anyway. But, so yeah, I choose not to just do the blind buying. But this one here, you can take with you um, on any kind of vacation. It is a gorgeous fragrance, gorgeous. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is make sure for each fragrance, to give you a little bit about what it is. I'm gonna do a full review on a few of these, but just to kind of give you an idea, I will be putting up the notes on the screen so that you can see exactly what's in the fragrance and if it looks like something you may want to pick up or get your nose on. So yeah, this one, Signorina Rebel um, by Salvatore Bergamo. Excellent, excellent, sweet, creamy coconut um, with the tropical vibe. Can't go wrong, maybe running about 40 bucks. So yeah, next up, is another love of mine that I just came across and it's kind of getting a little bit of hype on, on the YT. Um, I see maybe about two or three reviews on it and I actually really like this one. This one is called Signature uh, by Mont Blanc. Um, these people, I guess they were known to make pens. I, I, didn't, I didn't even know they were in the perfume game now, but hey, they know what they're doing. They know what they were doing when they made this because this is a very beautiful vanilla floral musky fragrance. Definitely has nuance of very sweetness and citrus vibes. Um, I think anybody who likes um, C. Fiori would more than likely really like this because although they're very, they're different, but they're similar in a sense that they both are very uh, musky. Um, C. Fiori is a little bit more powdery, musky, sweet. This is very musky with um, powdery vibes as well. And it has a very sweet nuance, but not as sweet as C. Fiori. But I feel safe to say that if you like C. Fiori, you would absolutely like Mont Blanc Signature. This one leans more of on the clean side, um, clean, powdery, musky fragrance. You definitely pick up um, at the top, you know, there's a 
like a clementine note if I'm not mistaken um, that you pick up but it's it's a beautiful fragrance that dries down with a very um, vanilla musky base um, but yeah this one is getting a lot of hype on on YouTube because and rightfully so this is a gorgeous fragrance I would see maybe wearing this um, the daytime for sure daytime spring summer appropriate very you know not in very high heat because it is a very thicker fragrance and this is a beast it definitely lasts there is there is no doubt about the performance in this in this um, fragrance um also the wonderful thing about this one is this is also another affordable one you know over here on this channel we are all about affordability i love you know getting my hands on niche but at the end of the day my pockets are not long so we are all about you know a little bit of designer here and there some niche sometimes but when i can get a really really good fragrance at an affordable cost i'm bringing it to you guys for sure hands down so yeah this one is um, mont blanc and by mont blanc and it's called signature check this one out a little side note on this one I, I did blind by this. I did that, that, that was my mistake, guys. I'm sorry. So this is two fragrances out of the eight. This is the second one that I blind bought. And I bought a little 30 ml. I think it was like maybe like 30 bucks or something. I bought a little 30 ml. I opened up the fragrance. You know how we do when we get a fragrance for blind by. We tear the package open like, <laughs> like we cannot wait. It is just this adrenaline rush you get when you get that fragrance. You want to rip it open and immediately smell. That's why I, I tend not to wait around and smell things with you guys because I just can't. You know, sometimes I will try, but you know, I'm so into getting that package and just smelling it. So but for this one, when I got it, I smelled it and my daughter was with me and she's 15. She smelled it, she absolutely loved it. I loved it. I immediately gave her the 30 mil and went back and ordered me a big bottle. So it is it's that amazing. I, I really enjoy this this fragrance. Wearing it like with a, maybe a white t-shirt, jeans, you know, something like really cute, um, summer dress, that kind of vibe. So yeah, that that's this is a good one. Check this one out. And next up. Next up is a really popular one that if you watch any amount of YouTube, you've seen this come across your channel for, or your screen for sure. Um, and this one is Linter D Intense. Now, this one blew my mind away when I got this one. I did sample it, but I initially had it uh, sampled the first one, the EDP, the regular one. And then while I liked it, it was nice, and I was considering keeping it just to just kind of like get somewhere out of it. I wasn't, it wasn't love at first sniff. Um, and then I seen everybody sort of talk about this one, and they were talking about the sesame note, and people were a little bit sketchy with that. But I said, no, it's way too many people raving about this one. So I went and got it, and I fell in love with this one. This is a beautiful white floral with vanilla and tuba represent, right? And it's, it's thick. But it's not syrupy where it's just too thick. But this one, I immediately decluttered my the, the original version and, and got rid of that. And I brought this one in as soon as I smelled this. It was, it's gorgeous. It's sensual. It's date night worthy. It's got this creamy, rich tuberose in the mid um, with a dry down of uh, Madagascar. I think it's like Madagascar, uh, Madagascar and uh, vanilla, if I'm not mistaken beautiful beautiful fragrance i mean by far i've smelled quite a few in this line but this hands down takes the cake now um i did see that there are they are coming out with a rouge version which i am super excited about because let me just say it has to stand up real tall to this to this one because this one is the end all be all i can honestly say that i see this literally intense uh fragrance in my collection for years to come gorgeous sensual sexy date night nighttime appropriate for sure um ladies please do yourself a favor and get your nose on this all right so let's move on to another affordable because we're all like i said we're all about the affordable fragrances over here now this one is i know that you all are um familiar with Roberto Cavalli. Now, I'm not a big Roberto Cavalli fan. I know there are hidden gems in his in his collections of fragrances that he um, has, and I've smoked a few. I haven't loved all of them, but this one, 
oh my God, girl, oh my God. That's all I can say to you right now. And this one I'm talking about is Roberto Cavalli Deep Desire. Now the name, it's Deep Desire says it all. This is a very beautiful vanilla, cacao, warm and spicy um, with sweet nuances throughout the fragrance. This is sexy as hell. This is definitely date night um, worthy. It is gorgeous. So when you first smell it, oh, girl, girl. And this is going to top all of this off. When you smell this, you would not believe that this is affordable fragrance. I think you may can get this for maybe around 40 bucks, but this has a cacao and orange blossom and uh, I think jasmine sandback in the middle. Oh my God, with vanilla and tonka bean running through the base of this, this is gorgeous. I don't know how more people are not talking about this fragrance, but I mean, this is so sensual and seductive and sexy. It has a very red, I mean, the bottle is, I mean, the bottle is red and it, it has a very red vibe about it, but it's not berry red, you know, because I'm not a big berry person. I don't really like berries in my fragrance. I, I just, I don't vibe with berries but this one is so sexy and when I tell you guys this is um the performance is stellar performance is out of this world it is a gorgeous fragrance I I, I tell you you know for you blind buyers out there this is one affordable one to go out and check out and I promise you you will not oh, this is so pretty you will not be mad about this one for granted that Currently, there's 85 votes. The uh, rating is 4.24 out of five. So that's that's pretty darn good. 4.24, oh, man, I, I wish I would've found this one other, uh, sooner. For me, this is more of a um, winter fragrance or cooler summer nights. Um, it is kind of heavy, so I, don't, I wouldn't spray it in the dead of uh, the summer. But you know, girl, do what you do. Anyhow, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. That was uh, Roberto Cavalli's Deep Desire. Next up, we have a fragrance that people are all too familiar with. and uh, But it's one of the flavors, so, you know, it's a, it's a good one. It's by Black Opium or YSL Black Opium, but it, this is the Neon Edition. So, I recently picked this one up because I've been having a hard time, girls, with these Black Opium. I, I know we all love Black Opium. I have the biggest bottle of Black Opium, but I don't tend to reach for it as much. I think for me, what I'm on the hunt for is really that Black Opium flanker that really does it for me. Um, and there's quite a few out there. I've, um, I think, you know what, this is, matter of fact, this Neon Edition might be the only one that I've tried, um, but I have a sample of the Nuit Blanche coming. Um, people seem to like that one as well, but this one is really good. This is a, you know, a fruity take on Black Opium. Um, it has a very, it's lifted by fruits and not so heavy and dense as the original. So that's why I really like this one, why I do like the original and I like a deep, heavy, vanilla coffee scent. I do like this neon version because it's lifted by, you know, fruits at the top. And then as it's drying down a little bit, it goes into what we know as you know, the original black opium. Um, but this one is really nice. I really enjoy this one. I um, I got a little off put, I'm not gonna lie, when I sprayed it, but we are in the mid of summer. So that would kind of explain it. I do want to test it when it gets cooler and I think it's going to perform. I think it's going to be great when the weather kind of cools off, but I I don't know. We'll see. I do, like I said, I do have a new launch version coming. Um, so once I get that, I'll have this one and this and the, um, the original coming. So we'll see how that works and if, um, which one I choose, because I do want to declutter maybe one or two of them once I get, you know, the other one coming to see if, which one I actually want to keep. So yeah, this one is um, Black Opium Neon. And again, it's your original DNA of that Black Opium, which we all know and love, but it's lifted by, you know, a very sweet, um, sensual, like fruits at the top. So I do enjoy this one. So coming up next, 
It is the only actually niche fragrance that I have in this haul, and this one is from Montal. Now, I'm not a huge Montal person. I do own three total, um, but I do. If I find the right Montal, Montsiera, Mansiera, I, I do like them. And this one, I love. I love, and I did sample it. Let me just spritz it here. Because it's been a while since I've smelled it because this is more of a winter fragrance. And this one that I'm referring to is Sweet Vanilla. Sweet Vanilla is gorgeous vanilla, ladies. Gorgeous. Oh, this takes my breath away when I smell this. Because, see, for vanillas, like, I like we all like vanillas right vanilla is just i think a common note that women most women absolutely love right but for me when it comes to vanilla i i think there's kind of two types of vanillas and what i mean by that is you have the vanillas that you kind of can layer with you have that very light vanilla like the maybe kaoli vanilla 28 right and so with that you may not wear that alone some people do um i i have it and i i tend to layer that um, or if I'm being at, you know, at home at night, maybe I will wear it by itself. But in any case, with this vanilla, this one is a more thick, rich, heavy, sweet vanilla. It has very, a beautiful powderiness to it. Very beautiful powdery, sweet vanilla. This one, I wouldn't necessarily layer anything with. This can stand on its own. It's not for me, not one of those vanillas that I'm layering anything with. I, this is a vanilla that is strong enough to rock on its own and just give you that nuance of, I'm vanilla and I'm here. It's sweet, it's, it's borderline gourmand. This is a beautiful one. If you've ever checked out um, Montal Vanilla Absolute, that one, I was debating between the two. I had that one first, the decan of that, and then I smelled this one and it was hands down this one all day long. It was, it was this. That one was more of a dry vanilla. So if you ever smelled uh, Montal's um, Vanilla Absolute, that was good, but this one is just your sweet, standalone, full on vanilla. When I think of vanilla, what vanilla is supposed to be, if you're considering wearing one that stands out, this is your girl. So yeah, check out, get your nose on. I promise you, you cannot go wrong with Sweet Vanilla. It is one, one of the best um, Montals that, that I've smelled. So yeah. Moving right along. Doing pretty good here. On oh, timing, I don't want to make it too long. Next up, we only have two more. And the next one is one of the good girl fragrances and, and my dad i haven't smelled all of them but for me this is the best damn <laughs> carolina herrera's good girl flanker there is so far and this is very good girl look at that shoe girls that it is the app it's not only the best it is the best looking shoe so far in my opinion so with very good girl i didn't you know i'm kind of i'm one of those girls that um didn't really enjoy the original. Um, I smelled the little Jer version and I actually do like that one. But when they came across this one and I got a sample of this, it was it was by immediately. People were having, you know, compared this to Delina and I, I don't know, I've smelled Delina exclusive. I have not smelled the original Delina. I'm just not a huge um, rose person and I don't like rhubarb. So Delina wasn't gonna be for me, period. But this one, Oh my God, this one is gorgeous. This is a very sweet vanilla. Um, it has a very, like a dense thickness to it, but it's it's so good. This one is the best one so far, ladies. I mean, it's it's got a quality about it that it's almost borderline tropical feel, but it's a rose that, um, that and it has, you know, we're not, my thing is, is that with rose, it can be scary for me because I'm not a friend when we, we, we don't love rose around here. But this one, it is so good in here because it's almost a creamy rose. When you spray this, you get that um, rose, but it's very light. It's supported by the, the lychee, I think it's lychee and red currant at the top, if I'm not mistaken. But it's a very creamy, 
rose that's dialed back I and mean, it's supported the rose is sort of as it's as the fragrance is developing the rose you get the rose in the mid but then it's sort of dying down into the base of the fragrance which is that vanilla which is this is just a gorgeous almost creamy like um, fragrance that is just it's beautiful for daytime appropriate in my opinion um, I, I would wear this to just you know a bridal shower event some type of girls brunch this is just I mean this is my perfect rose there there is no rose that is for me so far that I've smelled that they've done better than very good girl so yeah I am so happy to have her this is one of those fragrances that I really wish I would have got a bigger bottle in, but this is the, if I'm not mistaken, this fragrance is the 1.7 ounce. When this goes, I'm sure I will go get the big one because she is so deserving. So yeah, this is very good girl. Please do yourself a favor and get your nose on this. Now the last fragrance, I said the best for last, honey. The best, the best, the best for last. And this one you do not hear anybody talking about it is so hard to find reviews on this but let me just give you a quick story i found this fragrance because i had recently smelled um initio's side effect or no 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 i'm sorry not initio side effect i smelled psychedelic love by initio and fell head over heels with that fragrance um but it's just 300 dollars no ma'am not right now not just that's not happening so i went on for granted okay you know how you look at the um smells like I think smells singular two fragrances and this one popped up and it intrigued me because you know people and then not only did it intrigue me I looked at the reviews and it had 403 reviews with 4.44 out of 5 that's good really good for me so anyhow I looked at that and I'm like Let me, you know what it, it it looks like it's gonna you know, it looks like it's a pretty good fragrance. It's a people raved about this fragrance. So let me go ahead and tell you what it is while I'm running my mouth. And this fragrance is by Valentino. And it's one of the, it's a part of the Valentina line. And this one is Valentino Merv Absoluto. This one, oh my God. Oh my God. If you love Merv with the very, you know, Merv um, and you like vanilla and you like the very sweet resinous vibe with vanilla and it even has elangulang so you, have, you smell that um you smell it in there and it has musk and jasmine in it it does have leather but it's not super prominent to me oh you know what and i failed to, to um, spritz it which let me do because honey my nose is happy every time i spray this this is the most Gorgeous fragrance you can find for the winter. Oh my God. <laughs> Late ladies, let me just tell you, I got a decant of this and I literally didn't wear the decant, but I would just spritz it just for pleasure. I don't know if you've ever had a fragrance where you just didn't even want to wear it that day, but you just had to spritz it like on your hand to just snick it all day. I went through a whole decant, like I think maybe it was like a 3ml decant of literally just sniffing it. This is for the winter. This is the, this is your red lip, leather coat, you know, skinny jeans, tall boots. This is beautiful. You have in the winter time, you have your scarf wrapped around you. This is myrrh at the top, myrrh at the top with that. And then it, then it slowly moves into that vanilla. You pick up the elangulang just a little bit. And then the resins, it is still dying down through the fragrance where you get that musk and jasmine. Oh my God. I have no idea how this has not been, this is not just like blown away <laughs> on YouTube. This is the most gorgeous. And I smelled out of this whole fragrance line, I smelled maybe four or five. I know a lot of people talk about Poudre, a lot of people talk about Blush. Um, Poudre ain't got jack on this one. But Poudre doesn't even, you, if you've ever seen the Valentino, the Valentino with this this bottle, you can't miss, everybody knows this bottle. Poudre doesn't have anything on this. This is the most gorgeous myrrh and vanilla fragrance that I have smelled in my entire life. 
And from my understanding, it may be discontinued, um, but it is, you can still find it for sure. And it is, it is gorgeous. Do yourself a favor and please get your nose on Valentino Myrrh Absoluto. Now there is just a, I think it's a Valentino Absoluto. That's not that one, it's the Myrrh Absoluto one. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous date night. Beautiful vanilla, just, a, it just engulfs, you can engulf yourself in it. So that was it, honey. Those were the eight new fragrances that I added to my collection. Like I said, there are more, but um, I'm gonna do a part two so that we don't make these videos too long. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you've gotten some information from these fragrances and you've seen a few that might spark your interest. And if you did, and if you enjoyed this video and got a little bit of value from it, please give it a big thumbs up. I would certainly appreciate it. And that was it, ladies. You have a great day. Everybody stay safe out there and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.